All right, welcome back. We can continue with the sports call here. Ireland Contracting is the sponsor. Bordis and Bordis Hotline is hot tonight. 412-575-2600. Bob Pompiani with you. Also checking the Twitter in bag. Mark DiStefano on Twitter, at KD Pump is my handle, says the sleeper guy to watch who can really make a difference is Jalen Samuels for the Steelers. And I agree. I think he's going to be a nice combination with James Conner, who looks extremely good. Uh, he's worked his body into tremendous shape, and hopefully it's a big year for him. And I wouldn't underestimate Be uh, Snell as well, the guy they got from Louisville. He's uh, a workhorse type of guy. I wonder what Mike Tomlin's going to do with that. Is he going to continue to go with a workhorse theory, just give the ball to one guy specifically, or is he going to be more in a spread the wealth kind of situation with those guys? Sort of like a committee, although the lead dog, of course, would be James Conner. David M. says on Twitter, the Pirates should trade everyone they can, including Bell, Vasquez, Bell, Marte. Well, first of all, you're not going to trade Bell. He's too young. He's having a good year. There are certain guys you want to build around. Reynolds looks to be a guy you want to build around. Bell is a guy you want to build around. Anybody in that vein you want to keep. If you want to trade guys like Marte, there's not much you can do with Polanco now. If you want to trade Vasquez, that's fine by me as long as you get what's proper return and has to be that line three we go on the hotline it's daniel in monroeville daniel go ahead hey Paul, thanks for taking the call man sure, I figure I'll call this week because next week i'm going to be getting married <laughs> oh congratulations uh, <laughs> thanks man i tried to reach out to juju for a surprise but he's going to be a little bit busy well i think antonio <laughs> still taking 500 bucks you can get a nice uh, congratulatory um, voicemail from him if you want all right, I'll, I'll try to get a money order. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> hey, uh, everybody talked about what I wanted to, but uh, I'm not a Tomlin hater. Um, I want to see what he does without the, the Bell and the Brown trauma. Mm -hmm. And hopefully Boswell was just a one year off. I'm looking forward to it. I just want to know how you think the relationship with. Well, if you're talking about Boswell, I think we lost you there. Um, first of all, I think it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, determine. Bo I think Boswell has the roster made no matter what. Unless he misses every kick in the preseason, which I do not think will happen. And, and understand, in practice sessions, they can create a lot of pressure on him. They, they will give as much as he can handle, and we're going to see how he responds. But even at that, it's not going to be the same as a game-winning field goal in Foxborough week one where you have to come up with a win. He was so good two years ago in that. Last year, not so much. Uh, and they needed that. You know, the NFL is a league where you're going to see a lot of closely played games. And kickers make a huge difference one way or the other, which is why he secured a $20 million payment to begin with. Now they held off on the $2 million option that was due in March. They're going to see how he does. He'll get that. He'll be on the team unless he completely collapses, which I do not see in this training camp. Let's go to Dick in Bell Vernon. Hey, Dick, how are you? Hi, Bob. Thanks for having me on. I'll sure. be real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. you would, I don't think changing players is really the answer. The answer is something we've already seen in our local sports. Look at the Galbraiths, quality um, management uh, ownership, Rooney's, quality manage own, ownership, Lemieux and Burkle, quality management ownership, uh, Howard Baldwin when he was, he was all in, quality mm -hmm. management ownership. Uh, we don't have that, and we are not going to have that. You look at other places. Look at the Bengals. Poor quality management and ownership. You look at the Browns. They were in the same situation. So the answer is it's the quality of the management and ownership that makes all the difference. And he went right. Well, yeah, we actually got to go to a break, so we had to cut you off. Get your point. I understand, too. More commitment needed by the ownership. Injured in an accident.